having your period. A visit from Auntie Flo. Mother Nature's in town. On the blob. Time of the month. Ooh, Shark Week. Whatever you call that time of the month, it is, without a doubt, an inconvenience. But put our own issues to one side, it's also a massive inconvenience for the planet too. Let's do period maths. Now I hate periods and I hate maths, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Ooh, you're slipping up. <laughs> so the average woman is supposed to have a period for 40 years of their life. 40 years. You have 12 periods a year, pretty much. So 12 times 40 is 480. <laughs> I did that earlier. 480 periods, right. So on average, your period lasts about four days, can vary every month. If you use on average four sanitary products every day, so that's four times four, what made you have 16? 16 times 480 equals boom, over seven and a half thousand sanitary products you will use in your lifetime. So what sanitary products do you use? When I started, I used sanitary towels because I was young and my body wasn't quite ready for anything else. Then I moved on to tampons and applicator tampons changed my life because they were just cleaner, they're convenient. But if you do the maths again on seven and a half thousand plastic applicators, do you really want that on your conscience? So what can we do to be a bit more planet friendly? You could try and drop the applicator altogether. You can now get reusable applicators, which feels like a really good first step for people that feel a bit squeamish about it. Sanitary towels, they're as bad as nappies, so they take hundreds of years to decompose. Now I use a moon cup and it's made out of silicon and it's surgery safe, the same stuff you have for your booba loops. And you literally get the cup and you fold it like this and you insert it inside you like you would a tampon and it kind of comes apart like that. Now it collects the blood and you empty it as often as you'd empty a tampon or sanitary towel, easy. The only thing is you do need a little bit of practice. It's very new, it's a new way of doing something and uh, you've got to get your technique right. You've got to understand that you're gonna see everything that comes out of you in the cup. And um, I've had ups and downs with this, but many, many, many more ups. So I have stuck with it and I've never reverted back to tampons. But if that's not for you, there are other things you can do. You can also get washable sanitary towels. So these have got a little popper where you put them round your pants and then you pop them together. And there you have it. Now I use these at night time as well as my moon cup if I have a really heavy flow. Um, and then in the morning, I will rinse it out in the sink, clean the sink and then put it in the washing. So you do need a few of these if you're gonna use them as your only way of protecting yourself during this horrible time um, because you're gonna to need to keep washing them. So depending on how heavy your flow is, I would suggest somewhere between four and 12 and then you can keep washing them and you're not in a panic during that particular period. Also, you can buy pants that have these sewn in them. So you wash the whole pant rather than just your sanitary towel. Periods are tough. Hormones, they suck. You end up bloated, you eat too much, you're irrational. But we don't like to tell people it's the period that's making us irrational. <laughs> the point is, it's a tough enough time as it is without using a product that you don't like. So find what product you will feel most comfortable swapping to. Give it a really, really fair go because it is gonna be different for the first couple of times and then see if you can make a swap to something that uses less single-use plastic. <laughs>